Good morning, YouTube. It's Deidre Goddess coming at you guys with another video. I am on my way to work this morning. Let's see if I can get Teddy Bear out the way. She's going to fall back down. Okay, so I just wanted to let, make a video and let you guys know that I am down 10 pounds in three weeks. Actually, well, yes. Yeah, so, so we'll say right around the first because I believe that's when I started my non-dairy is at the 1st of September right around there but nevertheless today I got on the scale and I was down actually 10 pounds and 2 ounces but I don't count ounces I just count the number, the big numbers so I am technically down two, 10 pounds and I feel good I can't even say that I miss dairy um, at first um I thought I was going to miss cheese. I've sprinkled cheese a few times. And I mean just a sprinkle. And just because in my head I thought I was missing something. But then when I put it on. And I think it's been about two times. twice. It might even been twice in the same day. I realized it does not change the taste of my eggs. So I stopped doing it. Um, as far as the whipping cream goes. I was making my smoothies with whipping cream. I was making those tea tree smoothies. I mean the matcha tea smoothies. And I was using um, the heavy whipping cream as my liquid mixed with some water. So I have since cut both of those out. So now I am making my avocado smoothies in the morning. Um, I'm putting a handful of greens. Um, I, I've been using, well first I was using spinach. Now I'm using, it's a mix of char, kale, and spinach. Doesn't taste any different and has a variety of nutrients. Um, uh, avocado. At first I was using one and a half avocados. I've cut down to just one avocado. Um, I put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of MCT oil. Um, my little powders that you guys see me put in there all the time. Um... And I have been using the um, uh, Crystal Light flavored powders to give it like a fruity flavor without adding fruit. Um, I've been using, I was using berry, but lately I have started using strawberry, orange, banana, and that is really, really good. As a matter of fact, this is what this is. Um, it makes a, a full blender makes about two of these if I put too much ice in it it'll be like two and a half and if it's too thick I take my green tea and um, liquefy it some that's what I usually eat for breakfast lunch um, it depends on what time I have to be at work that day I usually start drinking it right before I go to work work so that's either on Saturdays I have to be there at 9 um, Tuesdays and Fridays I have to be there at 10 Monday and Wednesday 12 so it just depends on what time I have to be at work I don't start drinking them until I'm on my way to work and then for lunch dinner I've been eating the same thing every day I get in these habits of I'll find something that works and I stick with it for a while at first it was the egg and um, meat mix it's still the same thing but now it's just I scramble four eggs and cut up a bunch of bacon in there and mix it all together cook it together and that's what I eat for lunch dinner um, and that keeps me full all day long oh, excuse me um, I don't start getting hungry until after nine if I stay up late watching NCIS um, I do get hungry about 9 o'clock so I'll just drink some water and eventually I go to bed um, and I have been doing at least 30 minutes worth of exercise 5 days a week I go down to my gym and I either get on the treadmill which I've just been able to get, do because of my knee hurting at first I was riding the bike um, today I rode the bike because I only had a half hour I mean, it just kind of depends on my time frame. Um, some days I have a little bit more time and I'll hit some weights. Although while I'm on the bike, I am with my weights. Um, it's a good way to get in some... Oh, my, my little guns is trying to get hard though. Y'all see that? Ain't even jiggling like. 
Um, yeah, so that that's the gist of my schedule. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all about to see a 10 car pile up on YouTube because the truck towing the cars want to just pull out in front of everybody. Oh, I see. He's trying to keep up with this other. Y'all, driving in Houston is hazardous to your health. I'm just going to say it. Uh, make sure you have insurance because they don't play no games out here. You can get hit in an instant minding your own business and that's the crazy part of it. Um, I got me sidetracked. Um, I guess that's about it. We're trying to get me and my sisters, uh, we're going on a cruise in November. I may or may not have mentioned it, but in November, we are all going on a cruise. Um, we're going to hit the Cayman, Cozumel, and Jamaica. And so, I won't be beach ready, but I just want to be a little bit more ready than I am now. Um, and I don't know if you guys have watched my story, but I uh, lost a lot of weight a few years ago. And um, since I've been back in Houston, I have gained all of that weight back. And actually, I gained it back and more. So, I'm just trying to um, keep my head strong and just get back to at least where I was when I got here. And I'm just doing it one day at a time. One day at a time. Um, so many things have changed. Uh, we've been through so much since we've been here. And not that that's an excuse, but life happens. And you just got to roll with the punches. And I'm okay with it. Um, as if, as I was gaining the weight, it was very difficult because I felt like I didn't have control and I really didn't know how to stop it, I guess. As crazy as that may or may not sound. But I'm good now. My head is in a much better place. Um, and we're just taking it a day at a time. Me and my daughter both, we've both been through some a very traumatic experience over the past couple of years <clears throat> and we're dealing with a lot but God is a good God and he has held us and kept us and yes my body has changed but he has held my mind steadfast and so I'm going to hold on to that every single day and on that note I'm going to get out of here so I don't um, crash into anybody on the beltway because these people drive like crazy many years. You would think that everybody in Houston was drunk, drunk driving. And that's, <laughs> that's for real though. Alright you guys, um, I'm out of here. Um, don't forget to comment, ask any questions about my smoothie that I may have not specified. Oh, that's a pretty motorcycle. Um, like the videos. Feel free to share them with anybody else who is um, on a keto journey or may benefit from my shenanigans. Uh, also, uh, follow me on Instagram at Deidre underscore Goddess, and on Facebook at Deidre Raylene, and also on Facebook at my Low Carb to No Carb um, Facebook page. Post any pictures. Um, comments and I will, I'm sorry you guys I'm distracted because I'm driving and again you got to pay attention um, but I'll see you guys in the next video I'll come at you guys with another video next week letting you know what the scale is talking about but we all know that that scale is a liar that is the devil in disguise I swear um, that'll make or break a week um, okay it's real all right, you guys. I'll see you guys later. I'll put all the links for my social media down in the bottom. Hit the blue notification button to let you know when um, I upload another video. And mwah, peace out. Never give up. Never, ever give up because this is a lifelong journey. It's not a diet. It's something that we do for life. It's a lifestyle. And as long as you keep going, you'll never fail. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.